everybody, it's Miss Carrie on um, this Fun Facts Friday. So today I'll be talking with you about one of my favorite animals. Let me scoot my chair. Um, horses! So, a uh, fun fact about Miss Carrie is that when I was 19, I got my own horse named Slim. He was brown and he had a black mane and tail and he had some white marks on his legs. So, I, I had always been kind of interested in horses, but I'd never have one of my own. So, that was the first time I had a horse that was truly mine. So, it was a great experience having him. He was a really sweet horse, a kind horse. And, um, he's the reason I still love horses to this day. So, we'll get started with some fun facts about horses. So, I've got a few books I'm going to show you, of course. And the first book I'm going to talk with you about is this book called Horses by Gail Gibbons. So, what is a horse? So, a horse is an animal that has four legs and kind of a large head. And it has a mane across its neck and its forehead and a tail. And there are... A girl horse is called a mare, M-A-R-E, and a boy horse is called a stallion. Now, you've probably heard your parents, if you have cats or dogs, talk about getting them fixed. So, what that means is when you have something done to the pet to where they can't have babies. Um, so, that that is often done to boy horses. So, once they've had that operation, they're called a gelding G-E-L-D-I-N-G. So, they often do that to improve um, the temperament. So, that means how they act. So, sometimes it can make them much calmer and um, better horses for riding. They don't get spooked as much as we call it. Um, so, that's a little bit of background about what you call, you know, a girl horse and a boy horse. Um, so, horses are typically... Um, when they live out in the wild, they live in herds, which you probably heard that about cows and some other large animals. So basically all that means is when a group of animals live together. So that's all, that's what that means. Um, and of course, when a person has a horse, sometimes they can have one horse. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, my ears hang low. Um, so, yeah, so Miss Carrie loves horses. I could probably keep you here all day talking about them. So, they've been around a long time. Um, what scientists think is that earliest ancestors of horses lived about 60 million years ago. Um, and they stood about 15 inches tall. So, they weren't as tall as they are today. Um, so that's some pictures for you. And people and animals, I mean, not animals, people and horses became kind of partners. Horses are, um, they're very, I don't want to say easy to train because it takes work to train them. But they're more likely to be able to be trained to do jobs to help people. Like, for example, they pulled like cart, like carts. If you needed help pulling something that was quite heavy, the horse could help you do that. And then, as time went on, people figured out that they could ride horses. So, for a long time, that was the primary way that people traveled. They rode a horse instead of, like, we didn't have cars, so they used horses. Or an animal similar to a horse, like a donkey or a mule. So, they start, so people started riding horses. Um, so basically there's three sizes of horses. So there's a pony, which is a horse that is under the measurement for a horse's hands, which is, you know, about four inches. So maybe the size of Miss Carrie's hand. So they're measured in hands. So a pony is a horse that is under 14.2 hands, I believe. And a horse is anything that is taller than 4.2 hands. So, that's how they measure them. So, and a miniature horse is different from a pony. They just look like a horse, but in smaller form. 
Um, so that's another cool fact. Yeah, 14, hang on, yeah. So 14.2 inches, I was right. Um, so basically all horses will have the same, like, body characteristics. Um, like they'll all have their hoof, which is basically the foot. And the hoof is like, um, the outside of it is like our nails. So they get people to trim their nails from them. They're called farriers. So that's what they do. They trim the horse's feet to make sure that their hoofs don't get too long. Because if you've ever had your toenails grow too long or your nails, sometimes it can be just kind of uncomfortable. So that's a good way to keep their feet in good shape. Um, let's see. Oh, the fun part about horses is when you ride. So, basically, there's about four what we call gates. So, that means um, the speed that the horse is moving. So, a walk is like a just a slow movement. It's typically what you'll do, like if you're riding with other people on a trail ride. It'll be kind of a walk. Um, and a trot is a speed that's kind of like a jog for people. It's a little bit faster, and it can be kind of bouncy. So sometimes you'll be just bouncing along on your horse. Um, some horses can do what's called a canter or a lope. So that's more like a, it's a quicker jog, but it's not like an out and out run, which is a gallop. Miss Carrie's only galloped one time, and that was when my horse Slim got he got a little bit scared in the woods because he heard something or smelled something. So he was thinking, I need to get me and Carrie out of here to get to safety. So he turned around and he ran like super fast. Um, so he was wanting to get us to what he thought was a safe place. So, um, and horses don't eat meat. They eat grass. They eat oats. They eat, um... Sometimes vegetables are fruit. Um, like, I know people know that they like carrots, and they do like apples, but you only want to feed them bits of apples, not um, the whole apple. So, that's a little bit of some fun facts about horses. Um, let me see. This picture, this book had some cool pictures, and this one did, too. So, this is a book about ponies. So you'll notice this little guy is more furry than um, sometimes what you see in horses out in the field. Um, so that can mean that if you see a horse that looks like really furry, it's probably because he's still got his winter coat. So they have to, um, their fur gets thicker to protect them in the cold in the winter time. And then in the spring and summer, they start shedding like our pets do, like cats and dogs. So then they're, they get that um, nice, shiny, sleek look. So this is a really fun book about ponies. I like it too. This is a very basic book about horses. Um, it's, it's got some really good pictures. Um, so that's a picture of their tail. Um, and that's them eating. So they'll eat hay, corn, and oats, and they drink a lot of water. Um, that's a baby horse with his mom. Um, trying to make sure I'm not talking too long. <laughs> um, so this is another fun book about can you tell a horse from a pony. Um, one way to tell the difference is that the pony is, of course, shorter. Um, they tend to look, their bellies look more, um, fat, for lack of a better word. Um, and like a full grown horse sometimes will be skinnier, but there's also larger horses that are called draft horses and they're the horses that probably used to be used for pulling things that are super strong. Um, if you've ever been to Charleston, you might've seen some carriages being pulled by horses. Those are probably draft horses. So that means they're the ones that can pull, you know, a carriage full of people. Um, and a last fun fact that I shared with you about rabbits, too, is horses, they can't do something that we can do. They can't throw up. So if they eat something that upsets their tummy, they can't get it out of their tummy like we can. And it's because of the way that their throats are designed and their esophagus is much stronger than ours. So it doesn't usually open up 
like um like ours does so that's another cool fun fact so i uh, i hope you enjoyed these as you can tell miss scary loves horses very much um i love to talk about them and Usually when I go on vacation, if a place has a stable host fire that lets people ride, I'll try to ride. Um, they're wonderful animals. Um, they've been a partner for people for a long time. Um, so I'm just amazed at you know, such big animals, you know, will partner with us. Um, so I really love horses. Um, so if you ever, you know, know somebody that has horses, ask them if you could come out and visit and see their horse. Um, so I hope you have an awesome day, guys. And next week, our animal of the week will be sharks. So I know a lot of you like sharks. My scary does. I like to learn about them, but I don't want to see them in the water beside me. So next week, we'll be doing some stories and crafts and some fun facts next week about sharks. So I hope you have an awesome day, guys. And um, we'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.